Hello friends, happy Saturday. We're gonna be doing some Saturday makeup. <laughs> this is like my favorite type of foundation coverage to do, so I'm super excited to share with you guys. We're back in my office. I finally have my new windows all in, which is so nice. I feel like the lighting is so much brighter. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks brighter to you? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just throw up my hair really fast. And so how cute is this? This little flower claw clip. Got these on Amazon. I linked them on my Instagram story for you guys if you haven't seen them yet. Um, go to my Instagram, my name there is Rhea Hope and you could shop the claw clips there. But um, yeah, super excited for today's look because it's so easy. I am however gonna dip out really fast to get my blending bud wet. So one minute while we wait for I'm gonna get here. Okay, so how's everybody Saturday going? It is so hot today, oh my goodness. It's like 90 something degrees. It feels like, I don't know, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys my shopping link right here in the comments. So I always love to give you guys like different type of makeup looks to reference. So this makeup look is my no makeup makeup look because it's super fast and easy. I can honestly do this whole makeup look in like two minutes, if that. Um, you can shop the hair clips, Gina, on my Instagram story. So if you go to my Instagram, my name there is Rhea Hope, you can shop there. So I showed you guys how to use the BB cream. I showed you guys how to use the stick foundation, spray foundation, serum plus, of course, which is my favorite. I'm fanning my um, setting spray so it dries faster because I just sprayed it. But anyway, I showed you guys how to use all of that this week. Uh, so if you missed out on any of my tutorials, feel free to watch the replays. I have them all saved. Um, and then today we're going to show you like how I'm going to show you how to just simply throw on a little coverage. Say you have a blemish or say you have dark circles and you want you don't really want to wear makeup. You don't want to look like you're wearing makeup, but you still need a little bit of coverage. I'm going to show you what to do. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Oh my gosh, triple digits, that's so hot. So, so hot. It's not 100 today, but it is hot today. All right, so first things first is your pre-makeup routine. Even when you're not doing full coverage or wearing a lot of makeup, this is still gonna be important because one, it helps to blur fine lines, pores and imperfections. So this is the mattifying face primer. Like I said, it blurs pores. Uh, so when we're not really wearing any makeup, I'll take any help that I can get that looks soft and natural. So my skin looks super glowy like this because of these two products, the setting spray and the mattifying face primer. So I'll spray my face all over with this. I'll let it fully dry and then I'll go in with my mattifying face primer. I play about a dime size amount of this and I spread it out all over my skin. You're going to massage that in and let it sit for like three to five minutes and then spray again with your setting spray. So setting spray, primer, setting spray is the routine before you do this routine. Uh, this makeup. I swear it makes a huge difference. Okay, so the next product and the only amount of coverage really that we're going to be putting on besides a little pressed powder is this guy. This is the Skin Solution Concealer and this is in the shade Lace that I'm going to be using. When you're doing this routine, the key thing is to use one, less, and two, as close to your natural skin tone as possible. So for me, this color is really dang close when I uh, when I apply it. So we're going to take a blending bud now and just kind of dab this in all over. So this is going to compress the concealer in a place and make it look a little bit softer on our skin. So we're going to go ahead and now apply this on our under eye like that. And we're the thing, the trick too, is to taper down, meaning that we're not just sticking in that little area. And I'm going to apply it here around my chin, wherever I have like a little bit of redness, I'll go ahead and apply. So usually it's like my cheeks a little bit here, and I'm just taking whatever is on there. I'm not adding more and going over my nose a little bit. This is the shade Lace that I'm using. So when you're doing this routine, you want to do it as close to your natural skin tone as possible. I could have probably gone up in a shade, maybe to the shade Velour or even Eyelet would have been probably better for me, but I can make this work because we're gonna use our pressed powder. So blend, 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 up and over the nose, blend, 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 blend. And I only do one eye because I wanna show you guys that difference. 
Like look at how just very soft that looks on our skin versus that side. Click the like shocked face if you see it. Yes, the blending butt is damp. I got up and I rang it underneath water, squeezed it till no water fell from it, then it was ready to use. But see how big of a difference, just a teeny tiny, I did what, three little dots, dot, 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 and that's all I needed. So yes, uh, I think there's eyelet and concealer. If not, the shade Velour would have worked. All right, so again, dot, 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 and then I'll probably do two dots here to blend that out. And that is the Skin Solution Concealer. So this concealer is so amazing for all skin types, oily, dry, normal combination. It has the same ingredients that are in our eye cream and our Uplift Beauty Oil. So it's gonna be extremely hydrating and it also is packed with caffeine. So it's gonna give our skin, wherever we put it, like our cheeks, it's gonna give our skin like an instant little like facelift or like uh, eye lift, if you will. So super good coverage with not a lot of weight or cakiness or anything. Oh, you're totally fine, ask your questions, that's why we're live. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. Like I said, I'm not adding more, I'm just kind of like popping it all over. So that's just a teeny, teeny bit of concealer. So if you haven't tried this concealer yet, grab it down here, there's a love it guarantee. If you're not sure what color concealer you are, comment color match and I'll private message you. But that's just concealer, isn't that really impressive? And it's not heavy, it's not cakey, it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin at all. So because I'm oily skin, because it's so hot outside, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of our setting powder. So I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender. I'm gonna take a little bit of my setting spray to miss that on there. And we're gonna grab a little bit of our Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. And now I'm gonna use this wherever I used my concealer. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna draw out any natural oils that push against our foundation or our concealer in this case and make us look shiny, greasy, oily. Something else that I love this product for is if you have blemishes, it helps to minimize the appearance of those and it also is gonna to help to absorb any of our sweat or oiliness. So if you struggle with any of those things, setting powder is a good option for you. So again, that was just the Touch Behold translucent setting powder we put all over. Now, if you have more normal to dry skin, you're gonna to wanna to apply it with like a, a brush like this. Hold on, let me find it. There you are. You're going to want to apply it with a brush similar to this. So you'll tap it into your setting powder and you'll tap it on. This is called the Powder Puff Brush. This is from Unique also, but this is a good one. I did use it for uh, bronzer at one point. Um, this is a good one for your setting powder if you're normal to dry skin because it's going to limit the amount that goes on there. Okay, so now that we have our setting powder on, I am going to smooth out the coverage and set everything with my pressed powder. So this is technically a foundation if you want to get technical about it, but it is so lightweight. It has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it, and it's going to keep your skin looking silky soft all day. It's also going to set that concealer. So say you have dry to normal skin and you're not needing or wanting a setting powder, this will do the trick to keep that there. So we're going to go ahead and use our setting or our pressed powder in the shade Taffeta, and I'm bouncing this, as you can see, all over my skin and and when I'm not wearing foundation, I'll go ahead and kind of like use a heavier hand, like swirls like this over my whole face. So this will even out my complexion just like that. Now see how it just made everything look super smooth? The powder that I just used was the press powder in the shade Taffeta. And I used it on a big giant kabuki brush with just comic uh, press powder brush and I give you the link to it. What color powder did I use? Taffeta, what other, will other powder work? Uh, the thing about other powders, not a lot have shea butter and vitamin E infused in them. So a lot of pressed powders can um, make you look more cakey or powdery. So I recommend our pressed powder. It is so incredible. And if you're not sure what color you are in, are in it, just comment color match. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead now and do a little bit of sculpting to our face because this is gonna really make a big difference without providing any extra coverage. So we're gonna go in with our um, our bronzer in the shade medium, and I'm just gonna pop this very lightly in the hollows of my cheeks, around my jawline, and then around my forehead. I saw people I keep playing with, and it's a scab. Uh, so concealer and, and setting powder will help with that. 
And also, if you guys haven't seen how incredible vitamin C is for um, blemishes, I highly recommend it. Vitamin C is in our um, our anti-aging cream, our anti-aging serum, sorry. And then it's also in um, the vitamin C treatment, which is so good. You use it once a week for a whole week, once a month. Yay! I know I'm super excited to finish my makeup because we're going to be doing a huge try on with Top uh, Top Fox, which if you guys haven't seen is a super awesome sunglass brand and they're having a BOGO sale right now. Buy one, get one. And all you have to do is use the code BOGO on that link right there. So I'm going to show you guys my favorite styles right after we finish our makeup. We're running a little bit behind today. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now for blush, we're going to do our shade Sisterly, and I'm just popping it on just that little area of, like, your cheeks up towards your cheekbones. And what this is going to do is this is going to add a flushness to your skin. So it's going to give your skin, like, that natural glowy look. A lot of times when we put on concealers and pressed powders, we lose that look to our skin, um, which is, like, a natural glow. So we're giving that back. And then just to enhance it a little bit more, you don't have to do this step, but I feel like it does a lot for your dewiness. So if you love that, that like dewy, glowy look to your skin, grab the touch or the fusion highlight in the shade blushing. And we're going to pop that on the Brit or the highest parts of the cheekbones, bridge and tip of the nose. And that's going to give your skin like a really pretty glowy finish. So this makeup look is also really good if you're wearing sunglasses all day, because if you didn't see, we hardly put any makeup on our nose in that area. So when you wear your sunglasses or your glasses in general, you're not going to have that like mark, you know what I mean, from wearing glasses. So for our brows, we're going to do very light handedly our uh, brow pencil. Okay, we're going to do the brow pencil in the shade brown. Hello, thanks for watching. And we're gonna go very light-handedly with this. We're just basically gonna give our brows a little bit of shape, just like that. Same thing here, a little bit of shape. Okay. And then, go ahead. The new launch tool. Uh, there's been a couple actually that they've launched. There's the Trident that is like a waver to your hair. That's super gorgeous. And then there's also um, the new Levite. It's a curved Levite. So it's super cool. So definitely check out my launch link, which is right here, to check out their new tools. And they're also having a summer sale. But if you are live with us, make sure you tune in to my sunglass try-on. I don't know about you guys, but it's always so helpful to me seeing other people try on make or try on um, sunglasses before I purchase them. So if that's you, make sure to tune in. Oh, that's a good idea. Jenna said, uh, something I think helps is adding a little eye primer to the bridge and sides of your nose. It has helped me immediate, uh, it's helped me with immediate transfer after putting sunglasses on. That's cool. Oh my gosh, isn't that balm so good for makeup remover? The La Clip, yes, the La Clip. Oh, I don't have it out here, it's in my thing. The La Clip is a brand new curling wand, but it's like a curling iron, like a traditional curling iron, and it's awesome. All right, so now for our eyes. When I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look, I still want my eyes to like shine. I'm taking off whatever was on there yesterday. And I'm gonna grab the shade Reverent in our liquid eyeshadow. If you guys haven't seen our uh, liquid eyeshadows are on major sale right now. And I'm just going to use this on the inner corner. And this will simply just kind of make our eyes gleam a little bit. But what's really pretty about this color is it's a champagne pink. So it's going to be very gorgeous. Popped on just like that. Make sure I have it blended. even just like that see how it kind of like shines a little bit super soft and the liquid eyeshadows so you get two you get two eyeshadows you get any mascara and you get any lip product all right I'm gonna set my makeup and do lashes and lips and then we're done okay I went ahead and used my 
um, setting spray. This is the Prime to Set Mist. It is such a phenomenal setting spray. Not only is it going to add a ton of moisture into our skin, so it's going to be really good at making our makeup look softer, look glowy. It is so pretty on. And if you experience any cakiness or dryness or flakiness with your makeup, the Prime to Set Mist takes that away like instantly. It is so good. All right, for lips, we're just going to do our Hottie Lip Plumper which is just a very high clear gloss. But what's so good is it makes your lips look so plump. So it's a peppermint extract in it, so it's actually gonna plump your lips while you're wearing it. I just actually came home from breakfast with my sister, and I was like, did you get your lips done? She was like, no, I'm wearing that hottie stuff you gave me. And I was like, oh, your lips look like you just got them done. Like her lips look so plump and so gorgeous and like glowy like this, it was so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the, what's the difference between the two uh, what, Gina? Now we're doing our lashes, so I'm gonna first go in with the Twisted Mascara, I'm sorry, the um, Lash Primer first. The Lash Primer is so good. It really, really extends your lashes and makes them look so long. So then when you go in with your Twisted Mascara, which we're doing right now, this is not only going to make your lashes so long also, but it also is going to have a argan oil, curatine, and biotin infused in it. So it actually makes your lashes grow while you're wearing it. And then something I wanted to tell you guys too. So right after this, I'm going to be doing a try on with Top Fox on all of my favorite styles of sunglasses because they're having a BOGO buy one get one sale. And I want to show you guys how even with this makeup look, Trying on glasses, it's not going to make my makeup budge. So if you're still here on Facebook, make sure you tune back in to our live. Okay, so with this mascara, you guys, I could do as many coats of this as I want. And see how I kind of have my head tilted back? And then take your wand at the base of the lash and then blink. So that's my favorite way to apply. But what's also really cool is... You can grab the silver bar or silver little part here and pull out that wand. And this is going to be perfect for reaching those hard to reach eyelashes or the bottom lash line. And you guys, this mascara doesn't smudge, doesn't smear, does not move. It stays right where you put it. So if you struggle with your lashes um, bleeding all over, this is the one that's so good. Yes, uh, sunglasses link is right here. And then use the code BOGO to save. All right, so that was a whole makeup look, you guys. Like, how fast and easy was that? Like I said, this is going to be, like, your favorite go-to makeup look if you're not, like, really a makeup person. My skin looks so soft. doesn't look like it's cakey, heavy, nothing. It looks like my skin. I can still see my freckles. Like, it's so subtle, and it doesn't feel like anything's on my skin. All we're wearing is concealer set with a little pressed powder. We did our normal bl uh, bronzer blush highlight just for a little added pizzazz. We threw in our Hottie Lip Plumper, which is on sale in the August special. We threw on a little bit of liquid eyeshadow in the inner corner, which is also on sale, and that's it. Like, anyone could do this makeup look and feel flawless, and that's the point. So if you guys have any questions or you need any help picking out your products, just comment color match, and I'll private message you for a full recommendation. And yes, I'm going to be doing a full try on with uh, Top, uh, Top Fox here in like literally two minutes. I'm just going to get out my favorite sunglasses and then we're going to start. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Make sure you shop down here for all of your makeup and your skincare, your collagen, your vitamin C treatment, your eye masks. All of them are huge game changers in the beauty world for yourself. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm always here to help and shop till you drop, ladies. See you guys in a minute. Bye.